Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over a health bar, a custom health bar. Um, I will be using the previous build that I had uh, for the demo. Uh, don't worry, this is a script, so it can be imported to whatever game it is that you're building or whatever it is that you want to implement it into. Let me open it up real quick, and this is actually what it's going to look like. It's going to have a nice little black outline, the little green health bar and whenever we hit our enemy of course it deducts health until they're dead and then they disappear so let's go and get this started uh, first thing we're gonna want to do is create a script and I name mine draw health bar you can name yours whatever you want um, I do have a sample example set up here and I recommend just putting this up here as a note for yourself later on in case you forget how to set it up properly um, you're going to want several different variables. Go through the list of them real quick. It's going to be x1, comma, y1, comma, x2, comma, y2. Then we're going to want the width, comma, height, the value, which will be the current health value, and then the value max, which will be what the total, I guess, uh, health of the character and or enemy might be color pretty self-explanatory uh, backing is going to be a boolean and um, that's more or less uh, whether or not to draw the backing and I'll, exp I'll explain that here in a moment uh, first thing you're going to want to do is set all your variables to arguments uh, and remember your arguments start off at argument 0 not at argument 1 so x1 is going to be argument 0 y1 is going to be argument 1 width is going to be argument 2 height is going to be argument 3 value uh, current health value argument 4 value max uh, max health value argument 5 backing argument 6 now this right here is going to be getting the color basically it's going to draw whatever color that you want you always want to set the draw set color first um, otherwise if you call the script or the statement, it's not going to recognize it, it's just going to be like, what? Meh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the backing is, like I was saying earlier, you saw the little outline on the back of the health bar, and that's just because we don't want just a, a green health bar floating right there, and it, whenever it goes away, it just kind of disappears, it looks kind of tacky that way. So you're going to, again, draw set color, you always set your color first, you're going to draw a rectangle, and x1 minus 1 comma y1 minus 1 comma x1 plus width plus 1 comma y1 plus height plus 1 comma false and basically what this does is it's telling it draw the the outline or the the backing but be sure to draw it just a little bit extended outside of the actual health bar so that it gives it a proper uh, a proper look uh, this is just setting your variables for x2 and y2 uh, very simple math should be able to understand it and the main fill color again this is going to be the main health bar or the I guess the current value again you want to set draw set color you're going to put your variable color in here so that whenever you put it in into the coding wise it'll pick it up and then it'll send it down here to your fill and it'll fill in your little full rectangle or the current value health with you know that color which was for us I want to say it was lime green we'll check here in a moment I'll go and leave this up now for those who uh, saw the last video uh, if you remember my enemy didn't have any events in it we went ahead and changed that around and it's actually necessary uh, the first thing that you're going to need is going to be a create event you're going to draw uh, not draw you're going to drag your execute code over and what you're going to do is you're going to set my max health which is going to be the max value at 20 or whatever it is you know whatever the max value of your enemy is going to be the health and then you're going to set my health which is going to be the current value 
to my max health. And you don't want to do these backwards because if you if my health goes looking for my health max, well, it hasn't been called yet. You know, there's nothing like right up here. It's down here, so it, it confuses itself and it'll give itself an error, and you don't want that. So set your max health up top, and then set your current health to your max health. That way, on the create, it'll have the max health. Next, go over to the step event, and in step event, we're just going to check to make sure that the enemy is alive, basically. We're going to do check if my health, which is the current value, is less than or equal to zero. Instance destroy. So if enemy's health drops down to zero, disappears. Next, we're going to add in a collision event with the bullet. And there's two separate execute codes up here, and there's actually a reason for it. I'm going to open up both of them. The first collision event is self-related. If you look up here, there's self, other, and object. It's self-related, and it's going to take your current value, my health, minus equals 2. So if it gets hit by a bullet, it'll deduct two little health points. And you want it set to self. Now, below it is another code, which is instance destroy, but if you notice, this one's set to other. And the reason this one's set to other is if it were set to self, uh, whenever the bullet would actually contact with the enemy, it would just destroy the enemy entirely. And you don't necessarily want that. Another problem is if you were to add instance destroy here, seeing as self is applied, it would deduct the health and then just destroy it. So you want to separate them. It'll run the health code first, deduct the health from the enemy, and then it'll run the instance destroy, but it'll only run it on the bullet and not the enemy. Now for the last part, we go into our draw event. Same deal, go and drag over the execute code. And you're going to want to put this code in here first. It's a uh, draw self. And there's actually a reason for that. I'll take this out real quick so I can show you all. When you call the script draw health bar, it'll make the enemy disappear almost. It's still there because whenever you fire, it deducts health, of course. But if it doesn't have draw self on there, it isn't going to draw the enemy. It's just going to draw the health bar floating above where the enemy would be. And this is again just to check to see if the health is above zero. If it is, be sure to draw the health bar. Again, remember, set your color first. Mine set the lime. Afterwards, we're going to do the script execute whatever you named your script I named mine draw health bar open this up real quick the X is going to be where the X and Y are going to be where the object is basically going to be drawn or placed if you noticed mine was floating just roughly above uh, the character right above his head so if you hit X minus 6 y minus 13 then it'll uh, of course you'll have to tweak it a little bit but if you're doing it from the same build it'll be right above the character's head uh, next would be the length of the bar which is how long we want the bar to be and then how high we want the bar to be which is uh, set pretty low it's set to three now this next part you have to put it in the way it is otherwise it isn't going to work you're going to want to set your current value first, which is my health, which is the current health value. And then you're going to want to set my health match, which is the max health value. And that's so that it'll draw the fill. If you remember over here, it'll draw the fill bar, which will be my health. And then it'll draw the backing as my health max. Then we just set it to true, and that's it. Really simple. Now you can always again, like I said, change this around 
um, we can make it smaller, make it 10 by 1. There we go, the health bar got a lot smaller, a lot shorter. Or set it to 30 by 5. makes it larger and there we go that's it guys that's how you set up your uh, health bar and again this is in script mode so you can take the script and import it into whatever game you have um, just be sure to you know give credits or props at least <laughs> if this helped you out any uh, if there's any questions go ahead and drop a line of uh, next few tutorials I think I might do um, over character or not character but enemy movement and what I mean by that is if you know if the character isn't close enough to the enemy then we want the enemy to kind of shamble about or randomly walk around the room not necessarily just stand in one spot so I'll get that planned out and uh, get it uploaded next time around uh, again hope this helped uh, those out there who were having trouble making their own health bars and uh, enjoy